everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another video review and today I am checking out the Gentle Giant Ben Kenobi, better known as Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Now Obi-Wan Kenobi is by far my absolute favorite Star Wars character and everything he represents, everything he does, all across the board in the written stories and the comics and he is definitely the most represented in my collection as far as both Star Wars and just general character and movie lines. As you can see right now I have the two other Gentle Giant minibus in the background. One over here is the clone trooper or the General Kenobi clone armor that we kind of saw in the Clone Wars movie and series except he had just the shoulder and chest plate along with the cape. He didn't have the full armor um, which I really wish we did see and I do also have the statue representing that as well. And on the left side we do have the episode 3 piece that was exclusive to Entertainment Earth which I will also have a review up later today. But right now the focus is on Ben Kenobi from episode 4 and as always let's take a look at the packaging first. So here we do have the older style packaging that General Giant used to present us with the window box display to show the piece inside. And it's, you know, it's a simple standard packaging that we are accustomed to from General Giant. We have the Star Wars logo with the 30th anniversary here, the um, names and titles in the bottom, a angle of the piece right here, a scene from A New Hope, and I will go ahead and zoom in on the bio if you want to pause and read that. Another angle right here and at the bottom we do have the addition size this one being out of 6,000 and my piece being number 3073 and of course we have the COA as well also noting the same addition size and a picture of the piece up front. Now Alec Guinness is the famed actor to portray Ben Kenobi and he just did a phenomenal job and we've been blessed with someone like Ewan McGregor to reprise the role of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequels. and. General Giant just did a phenomenal job at capturing this pose and likeness to Alec Guinness. Again, you know, going back to the archive footage, the digital files footage from the films itself, just whatever we, or General Giant was able to um, capture and use to present us with this incredible mini bust. And you know, they did such a great job with it between the facial expression, the size and shape of everything, even the hairstyle is, you know, that's classic Ben Kenobi when we see him as the uh, hermit in the desert. And we do have him portrayed in his um, typical and original brown Jedi cloak and gowns um, with the beige or tan um, clothing underneath. And just flipping it around, we do have we do see him holding his lightsaber. Let me get that in a closer look right there if I can get that focused. And this is the famed lightsaber we do see Obi-Wan use in Episode 3 and also in Episode 4. Um, you know, not too often, just in the cantina scene and when he is dueling with Darth Vader. But I really love how Gentle Giant kind of subtly put that in there and didn't just, you know, attach it on the hip or, you know, the base to look like it's clipped on the side, but that he is actually grasping it and that they also included the hand underneath. And that's just some incredible detail and attention to detail that General Giant is, you know, always constantly looking out for and capturing in their pieces. And taking a look at the back, we do see the robe extending down to the bottom of the floor, or the base, I should say, with the hood up. And let's get a one more closer look at the face sculpt. Let me bring him in just a little bit. There we go. And even, you know, just the subtle wrinkles and the the white beard with the slight brown coloring right there, um, the different, you know, textures, even the hair, you know, it's not molded as one piece, it's actually textured and, you know, sculpted into individual hairs and strains. It's just a phenomenal piece and I am super happy to have the new PGM um, Ben Kenobi coming out with his lightsaber actually drawn and that's going to be another phenomenal addition to not only my collection as a Star Wars fan and especially an Obi-Wan fan but for a fan, any fan of the Star Wars franchise. So there we have it folks, a pretty simple review, um, pretty straightforward with this piece. It's a elegant and beautiful piece that is, you know, a worthwhile addition to any Star Wars collector. So I hope you do enjoy it and I hope you do have this or you know hope to add it to your collection. If you have any questions or comments leave them down below and be sure to subscribe and follow all my pages. Thank you again and stay tuned for the next video.